And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rank Up Sunday. We're going to be playing three good decks today. Two of them are going to be new Aphelios decks because I do think that Aphelios is just the best champion in the game. And so, since it's Rank Up Sunday, we should probably be playing some Aphelios decks. But I also, y'all know how I like doing new stuff. I'm putting it with um, a couple of champions that I think are really underrated. So we're going to try Aphelios with them. First one here being Aphelios Lux. We're also going to have Aphelios Hymer um, in a little bit also. Then we'll have Riven Taric, um, a, a deck that I really liked that we uh, played um, on the first day of the um, new expansion, the new champion expansion. We're going to replay that one here on our Rank Up Sunday also. All right, so this is Aphelios Lux. This one... Um, pretty excited about both both of these are you know took took a little while to build because there are so many good cards that you can play in these regions um this is the the list that i've um finished up with all right so our our two champions um of course you probably know all about aphelios now uh, how aphelios can create these moon weapons that you're playing all the time and so these are going to be two mana spells for us each each moon weapon that we create and so the two mana spells those will add up for leveling up Lux. If we have a Lux in play, we gotta cast six mana worth of spells to level up Lux and start getting these final sparks. So the, that's how those kind of go well together. Um, we are going to be uh, combining those with these regions. Um, I think an important thing with Aphelios is thinking about what you wanna do with Crescendium and have Crescendum and have a good plan for this, how we get the two cost follower. Um, so for the two cost followers in here, the main one I wanna get is Egghead Researcher. So whenever it's summoned, create a random dragon unit in hand. Um, so, you, you know, like we'll be able to play Aphelios, get the moon weapon, moon weapon and egghead researcher, get the get the dragon. We're also going to have a couple of mage seeker persuaders that can be four, three challengers. If we um, with that with that uh, crescendum, if we had ca cast a six plus cost spell. And of course, with with Lux, we usually have some of those. I'm only playing two Remembrance. That was actually my last card to cut. This was, you know, hard to get down to 40, and so that was the last card. It went from three to two Remembrance. Um, but we're going to have a couple of Remembrance, a couple of Sunbursts in here for some six-cost spells. Um, also, Solari Priestess usually invokes the six-mana Obliterate, so that, that's another way to get a six-cost spell. But like I said, there's only the two Mage Seeker Persuaders, and so not we don't have a huge payoff of, like, needing to play six-cost spells, so that's why I went down a Remembrance. Um, Lunari Dustbringer is in here because of just how great this card is with Aphelios, like that Dust Petal Dust allowing you to play the Aphelios on turn three, plus also usually play a Moon Weapon as well on turn three. So we've just got two copies of that. Um, also two Spacey Sketchers that can either, that can discard that Dust Petal Dust if we don't need it, or if, if um, Egghead Researcher makes like a really expensive like Kadrigan Dragon that we don't really, we, we don't really have uh, time to play, then we can um, Spacey Sketcher it away and get a very powerful Invoke card instead. Um, so that's a nice little combo there. Um, we also have we have a lot of ways to play defense here. We have things that can heal our Nexus with like the Fangs, the Radiant Guardian, Star Shapings, lots of ways to heal our Nexus. Star Shaping works great with Lux, um, you know, basically almost leveling up Lux by itself. It can get um, really powerful other uh, expensive Celestial cards also that will get us some final sparks so yeah lots lots of great stuff going on here you know sharp sight single combat awesome spells so we'll see how this this goes we have two blinding assaults in here for again more two mana spells to kind of add up for for lux but then also blinding assault is a is a really good card with radiant guardian so we have a couple of those in here too all right so let's give it a try aphelios lux we'll go play our five games in ranked Okay, Draven Ezreal for our first deck. All right, so Radiant Guardian is going to be a very good card against Draven Ezreal, where right? like they are, uh, you know, healing our Nexus definitely going to be important for that. Um, I think we're going to mulligan these two cards, and we'll keep these two. Uh, we need to be able to have a unit die on. Uh, on turn five for Radiant Guardian. Is it necessarily easy to pull off? So Philios would be our best draw step.
<clears throat> Alright, so it's usually good to get the Veil Temple in play, but I think if I play the Fangs, then it's going to be easier for us to have something die next turn. But maybe not. I mean, like, they're they're probably just going to be attacking next turn with Radiant Guardian. I block with with my 2-1. and the, Or, like, they block... Sorry, they attack with the Draven. I block with the 2-1. Then Radiant Guardian is turned on. Yeah, I'm still... Yeah, we're still going to play this. Eh. I don't know about any of those that I love. The Moon Glow could be cool on the Radiant Guardian. I will be free. Stand in judgment. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> that's they just killed all three of my things. Once I stand papers, now faces. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. <clears throat> Alright, so I took this meteor shower because we could we could play this. You know, deal four, deal one, kill the Draven. Draven down. Right. The the Equinox would have been better to, to take as far as Everywhere I go, um, the light follows. You know, Captain Farron is concerned than this moon glow. That was a really good turn four for them. Killing all three of my things. So, I really hope they don't have, like, Mystic Shot Ravenous Block. Oh, no. I guess they do. They've had a great hand. So far. Game's not over. We still got plenty of stuff going on over here. I attack, they block with some treasure. I just play new I let it die, I play new Radiant Guardian. Just not, not sure what I'm gonna do about about uh Captain Farron right now. The sun is shining. We should too. And I did I didn't play Moonglow last turn either, because I kinda want I want to be able to get the spell mana for Lux. So I want <clears throat> Were they planning, like, another thermogenic beam? Maybe? Rise 
Alright, well this thing can block Captain Farron, but now I have the mana for uh, star shaping. Like next turn, start, you know, we're at two out of six, so star shaping will get that. Ugh! Oh, should, should have kept Sharp Sight available. They're running out of cards. So I guess we, we don't actually get the final spark with this, because this would fill our, our hand up, and then the final spark would go away. I still think I want that over these other cards. The Destroyer... I could see taking the Destroyer. I'll, I'll just take this. I mean, I think I think that um, Living Legends will probably get us a very good card. Besides guillotine that they discarded? Oh, just the ignition. Falling Comet that, or Infinite Mind Splitter. Right, Comet. So this is, a, you know, this will give me the final sparks. So I can kill this bot so these bots stop making these ignitions. Can you improve perfection? A ticket to the gun show! do need one of these things to die, hopefully, pretty soon. They don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. Because they, they can just sit back and play these decimates, and I'm in trouble. two decimates and one random card. My best draw is probably is be besides star shaping. Like star shaping and single combat are my best draws. Um, well, I guess also, also obviously Aphelios. Aphelios is always just one of my best draws because Aphelios we go get the life steal uh, car and that makes our life better. Okay, no, they're gonna they're gonna pick it up. I guess they don't think they can finish it off with those burn spells. All right, Felios Victor. Yeah, I think I got lucky with my Lulu whenever I was playing the the lab, and I I used Lulu because I, I just got Zoe and Zoe and just buffed up Zoe a bunch and had a r ridiculous Zoe's, and so I would just always so I just never even played Lulu the last you know four or five games. I'd just be playing the Zoe's. 
I think I'm gonna keep sun like we gotta kill these things, so I think I'm gonna keep sunburst, even though it's it's a definitely an expensive way to kill those things. Uh, I don't like this hand. <laughs> I don't like four six mana cards. I like the single combat. Single combat's good. They forced us to choose death or the blade. You cannot hold us. Well, this worked out for me. We finally we finally drew our Aphelios. But now with that thing dying, it's just a good time for remembrance. Because we could have got the Radiant Guardian bonus. Oh. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Right, I'm sorry. All right, so prediction is available. I bet I didn't start that last time. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Okay, so they got rid of the gem, and then an Eclipse Dragon. <clears throat> okay, we have not played a 6-mana spell, because our Remembrance was 5-mana. If I go Dust into Aphelios, then I only have 1 extra mana. You can tell having the 5-4 challenge with these little 1-1s one isn't... Uh, too valuable. Um, I would assume that they were looking for Equinox. Cool, they wasted a bunch of mana. Well, that's that's good for me. Uh, yeah, I had my my first loss in the lab with the the Hecarim deck on that final boss. I was about to kill him when they had Exact Lethal. It was so close. I started the Hecarim oh boss with God, five health. <laughs> my deck was a little too slow. Okay, so we have Sunburst Mana. But I think, okay, so I go Priestess and then Crescendum. If I cast, like, Remembrance, we turn on Persuader, but I think I'll just turn on Persuader with, with that later. So let's go Priestess. Um, gosh, these are all great. I guess we just keep getting more removal. Oh, you did get a turn one kill in the lab? Was it on the final boss, or was it on a, a different one? And how how'd you get a turn one kill? My best was the turn three kill with the Lulu deck that was just all Zoe. Let's see. Zoe plus Dawn and Dusk, and just making and double Dawn and Dusk, just making five, 14 power Zoe's attacking on turn three. Aphelios putting an Egghead Researcher that gets you a Screeching Dragon. Not bad. Alright, so falling, that's a Fallen Comet that's not going to take out Lux. Alright, so you got final boss sapling at the start at the round start, added vault breaker in one of the options, we got the minus three ability on vault breaker. And fleeting copies were also zero mana. Okay, okay, so you yes, yeah, so you made vault breaker cost zero mana. You had minus three mana. So yeah, zero mana vault breaker with a plus two plus zero, and you had round start sapling. So yeah, so you just had infinite damage on the first attack. You got twin shadows twice? Like, what What kind of shadows? You said it takes the entire board when I Which What card are you talking about? Is that the name of the card? Twin shadows? All right, which one of these we want to play, Comet or Sunburst? I, I don't have the Daybreak, so I guess the Comet is safer. 
The thing is, they could have Bastion. Oh, I don't have the attack token. Right. I was like, I'll just challenge, but then I don't have the attack token. Alright, level up looks. We spent a lot more mana than our opponent this game. They've had a couple of turns there where they've just wasted all their mana. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So Twin Shadows, is that's the ability to get the ephemeral copy. Okay, like what we had on the Callista. So you had two of those. So you just play play something and it makes two other copies. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Oh, so it's on summon, and so it goes infinite if you have two. If you have two of the abilities, because then they just keep summoning. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is crazy. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. So I can spell thief their star shaping. So their next thing's next thing's gonna cost two less. <clears throat> Let's just sunburst this. Get that final spark. Now we'll have we'll just have our two challengers take down the little one ones and hit them with everything else. Because now it's a good time to attack because they're not just uh, wasting a whole bunch of mana this turn. We have a whole lot of ways we could kill this victor. <laughs> I'm just going to go with this one. This would be four mana for Lux. Take a dragon. Our deck's looking good. Two and O. Oh. Good start. Did we win? You never know. All right, Ezreal Swain. Start the prediction. What do we got? Looks like we got a mulligan. I. Uh, don't necessarily dislike any of those individual cards, but you know, like we want to actually have like some units and stuff like that. But um, <laughs> I guess I guess not though. I guess we'll have all spells. We have um, our one of Fashion and Hush. What's up, Spacey Sketcher? I guess when I was talking about units, I guess I meant Spacey Sketcher. It's like if they play Ezreal, do I just sunburst Ezreal? Okay, they got that thing. Alright, I think I can take that. If I play Sketcher right now, I'd discard Hush, I think. That'd be the card I'd want to discard. Uh, 4 3 is a lot of damage. Summit 
All right, they're letting me off the hook here, allowing me to block. I guess I make this Bastion. All right, so we're gonna make one of these cheaper. I guess I'll have this Bastion be three mana. You know, just playing that get the get the plus one plus one on this basic sketcher and make it a two two. All right, finally something to play. Our hand was not the best. With basically no units ever. We'll take ooh, written in st ooh. Yeah, I think I need I think I need a champion. Alright, five mana lux. Wow. They must be just be sitting with all removal over there or like eight mana cards. The sun is shining. We should too. I hope it's like uh I'm gonna say I hope it's thermogenic beam and not like noxion guillotine. Maybe scorched earth. Be scorched earth. Okay. Not the worst. But, you know, they had to spend a four mana card, it wasn't like another mystic shot. Get rid of that. So I've spent three mana so far. So basically doing that to, to silence the Captain Baron to get rid of the Overwhelm. Puts me down to eight. Never back down from what you believe. Isn't looking great. We could definitely use star shaping. Aphelios. All right, Aphelios can do some work. Let's get... All right, so Aphelios costs four. So if I want to go Aphelios Lifesteal, and then I want to play another card this turn to get another Moon Weapon, we have to take the Moon Silver. Or I guess, yeah, yeah. So we're going to need the Moon Silver. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Oh, I, was, I had I had one extra mana than what I thought it did. The brighter my light, the stronger your shadow. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Did 
We have Calibrum and Severum. Yeah. Maybe I want this Calibrum to kill the 4 3. No. There are so many decisions everywhere. Not easy to do with all these decisions everywhere. You can't outrun justice. You're at seven out of twelve. So I'm killing both of these to kill the Swain and my single combat. That seems like a lot. No Let's get rid of the Swain. Maybe they don't block. Maybe they're scared. You lack discipline. Yeah, they scared. All right, 15 life. I know, Aphelios is so many decisions. No, that's the card I couldn't afford them to have. Okay, well, let's see. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to... Uh, I'm going to sketch or discard this, try to get Equinox. But I want to have it just in case like they just go to attacks next. I want to be able to block first. No, not Radiant Guardian. Not right now, that's the worst one. Oh, yeah. that's a pretty okay, fly. at least we got Equinox. Oh, but I didn't have a moon weapon in hand. Why did I not phase another moon weapon? If I fight here, it takes the Swain out of their deck. And also makes it a little bit more difficult to level up their swing. Oh wait, no, never mind. It just levels up their swing with the single combat. It's actually doing five damage. Alright, never mind. Well. Swain leveled up. Saving this for next turn so I can cast two spells for to get a moon weapon. I'm something of an aspiring ecologist. This is one of the record books. One less place to hide. I will break them. Oh no. Uh oh. Now we're in trouble. Aphelios gone. Star shaping, where are you? Or more Aphelios. We can do this. Uh oh. Check me out. I guess that's game. Never Looks like I need to kill that Swain whenever I had the chance. 
Yeah, because that, that should just be game, because Decimate stuns two things. awesome. They just want to attack here. Just please do that. Just attack there. Just do that. Do that. Come on. Come on. No! What are you doing? Oh, they can't cast Decimate. They only have four mana. Ah, how about that? Darn. <clears throat> Alright, so you block there. You block here. Not the egg. I go to six. Basically, I have one life right now. Which would have been the reason to take the life steal is because I'm going to be at one life. Wow. Going to the light. That's kind of surprising. Because that could have just been... The, I don't know, they could... Like, so obviously I would have got the final spark, and so I would have killed the Leviathan with the final spark. But that was a Swain. Like, that was, like, a Swain's incredibly valuable, right? They could have just replayed a, a Swain here. No, start. Where's my star shaping? Oh, come on. You top deck Captain Farron. Yeah, they keep top decking Captain Farron. I need star shaping. All right, well, we lost one. We had a... Horrendous hand. <laughs> Our hand was so bad. Um, let's see. Let's kind of look at the deck list. So the first, like, four turns, we had no Aphelios, no Lunari Dustbringer, no Egghead Researcher, Mage Seeker Persuader, Solari Priestess, The Fangs, Blinding Assault, Remembrance. Right? Like, having anything <laughs> to do those first, like, four turns would have helped out a whole bunch. All right, let's see. Jinx, Zoe. I guess I'm getting rid of this. We'll keep sharp sight. Yuck. We're not good at finding stuff to do early. And they have turn one Zoe, so this is uh, a game where we are very, very far behind now. That's why Zoe's so great. You know, turn one, you're already incredibly far behind. Okay, good. A priestess. We have something we can do. Next turn. Alright, so I just started the prediction. I think I'm going to take this meteor shower, the deal 4, deal 1, that can... Um, Okay, I was going to say that it, it could kill, like, a Jinx and a Zoe, like, for example, or it can kill this Sump Dredger plus that thing. It's not bad. So that four mana card drew me a charger and also got rid of a get excited and a guiding touch from their hand. 
It's not too bad. Have a card to save their Zoe. That's good. Back heretic. But I'm down to ten. Oh, I guess I could play the charger. Yeah, I should have played this charger last turn, so like I open attack with the charger and I play this Radiant Guardian. Best case scenario for me is they use like a removal spell right now. <laughs> yeah, they like Mystic Shot the Charger or something. That'd be like best case scenario. And then I just play the Radiant Guardian. If they don't kill this, then I'm going towards the Fangs. Good job, Tancred. Beat the lab with Hecarim Zed. Good job. So we were really far behind a while ago, but now we're looking pretty great. I got removal for Jinx. Not too scared of those things. If I play the Priestess, I won't have removal for Jinx anymore. Oh, I guess I have, I have single combat, so yeah, we're still good. I don't know. I like them all. Bask in her radiant blessing. I will end this here. I guess it would probably make more sense to just do this the other way around. So then playing a zero mana card, I was going to say I could single combat and fight that thing. Oh, options, options. Gonna go with the fangs. And keep my option open for um, Sunburst on Jinx. Because it's really just Jinx, I think, that I'm scared of right now. I don't think there's too much else I'm really scared of. If they wouldn't play Jinx, you know, if they didn't have Jinx, then I would, you know, we'd go Remembrance this turn, but. Need to kill Jinx immediately. Obviously, I'm not worried about this 1 2 or anything. We're, we're, we got plenty of life again now. Doing just fine. The light of my star warms the heavens. Mages can't hide from me. Aphelios. The hour you is... have no alibi. 
I'll be surprised if we lose this somehow. It's just, it's gonna take a little bit. We should have this locked up. Okay, I haven't actually played anything yet. That's a pretty sparkle fly. For a moment, we are linked once more. All right, that'll do. Three and one. And that one loss, we just had a horrible starting hand. All right, Lisa and Zoe. So here, we just got to really make sure that we uh, have good answers to Lee Sin. Um, I definitely like having this Sunburst. Oh, I, I, I love Vladimir as a champion. I think Vladimir is really cool. Vladimir is a lot of fun to play. Um, I mean, Vladimir's not really good enough right now because anything that's not Targon is not really good enough, to be honest. But, um, yeah, Vladimir is really cool. Our best draw step, like always, is Aphelios. They forced us to choose death. There we go. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Mm. It's not ideal. Okay, no doesn't get notified. We're gonna get the two drop to start with. Okay, so two Zoe's are down. But so it's you know it's all about Lee Sin. Certainly hoping no Lee Sin on their side. Oh, okay, well never mind. I guess they have a third Zoe. I guess it's not all about Lee Sin yet. Looking into the future, I see purple. Um I guess we'll just give them more gems. Because they only get... Do they only get two more? Yeah, because they ran out of cards. They only got two more gems. moon weapon so far. Alright, seven mana. So I'd like to not do anything because I want to sunburst a Lee Sin if they have a Lee Sin. I guess I could pass. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, they have ten cards. I guess I can just pass. They have ten cards. And it's not like I'm wasting more mana than they are. Okay. They're just going to burn a card. See a Zenith Blade. 
gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna win this game. There's been no lease in yet. That is good. Moonglow, my Aphelios. Trickster is going to be the more aggressive line. Um, let's see, because this turn I'm, I'm going to be playing the Crescendum and Sharp Sight, so I'm not going to spend any mana this turn. So it'd be like, what, what do we want for like the next, you know, play next turn? I'll just get the Charger. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. All right, definitely want the thing that does damage to the Eye of the Dragon. It's the Eye of the Dragon. The moon speaks the do, 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 do. You are its voice. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have my... I guess we just have. Yeah, I guess we just do it on this thing. Come back later. All right, all three Zoe's down. Breathe in, breathe out. Three damage to a follower, and then we'll get the stun card. Philios is just going to keep on wrecking from here. They finally send they have a chance. I'll just go ahead and use the stun on this draggling so they just don't get to block with it, so I have a lot better attacks. And the, the doggo can block one of these. But yeah, that, that gives me a lot better attacks. So they've gone through they've gone through 40% of their deck now. That that'll do it. Aphelios too strong. So I I really like this deck. This deck felt really good. You know, like we felt better than like the other Aphelios decks and everything. Uh, we only lost the one game, uh, really due to having just such a terrible hand. Uh, to begin with, but we still got to the point where we were both top decking, you know, at the end of the game, and they they drew Captain Farron, you know, like their second Captain Farron, um, at the end of the game. But uh, yeah, this this felt good. I I think that Lux was a, was really good. You know, like making those final sparks was awesome, and then just having cards like Single Combat and Sharp Sight, especially Sharp Sight, uh, lots of elusives running around these days. You know, like we were blocking Ezreal's and um, Zoe's and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we drew. Wow, we played. We just played, you know, for an hour and fifteen minutes, and I don't think we drew Blinding Assault a single time in any game. I don't think we did. No, I don't think. Yeah, we never even cast a. Yeah, we never even had Blinding Assault. That's crazy. We only had the Veil Temple the one game, the first game. That was the only game we had it. But I, I like this card. Um, it's not something that our deck's built around, so like we don't have a whole bunch of them. But the ability to refill two mana is is really nice. 
turn after turn after turn um, that it ends up, you know, you have to make that initial four mana investment, but over a long game with the Philios, that extra mana really matters because you, you do always have so many cards. Um, and then of course the, the plus one plus one is nothing to sneeze at either. So I, I like having the one of Veil Temple in here. We did see that like Nexus healing was super important in those games. Uh, we were, you know, constantly down um, and we constantly needed like star shaping radiant guardian the fangs for nexus healing I, I wouldn't necessarily mind having another one of those especially like star shaping like that's that's something that like maybe your veil temple you could turn into just another star shaping because it seems like if if our opponent doesn't you know decimate us out of out of the game with you know captain farons or whatever that we were uh, going to be just fine over the longer game thanks to aphelios um but yeah, like the the sunburst was very good. The two drops, I really liked our two drops though. Like that's another thing I liked about the stack. You know, Egghead Researcher, Mage Seeker Persuader, those are good two drops to grab with Aphelios. Um, so I I think our deck worked out pretty well. Um. All right, so that's Aphelios Lux, our first deck here for Rank Up Sunday. Almost a 5 though, but not quite. Uh, but you know, you'll still take a 4-1 every time with Ranking Up for sure. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and let me know what you think of this version of Aphelios. This is something that uh, you know other people probably aren't doing quite yet, but I think this could be a very, very strong choice for Aphelios because Lux is just amazing, <laughs> and you get the, the great you get the great two drops. Uh, to go along with Aphelios with these two. You get really good quality spells with Sharp Sight and Single Combat, two really important spells these days. And then you also just have Lux making those Final Sparks. And, uh, you know, nothing wrong with Final Sparks. Like, Final Sparks eat up Aphelios all day. So you get all of that. And plenty of Nexus healing, especially with Radiant Guardian. All right, so that's it here for Aphelios Lux. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.